What's going on? What's going on, fam? This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you're having an amazing day. We're back again, continue our numerology series and with our love of numbers. And, you know, and like I mentioned to you in every presentation so far, you know, don't believe nothing. I'm telling you, you know, I'm just sharing my experience with you and just trust your own intuition, do your own research and use these, you know, numbers as tools to really learn more about yourself with self-discovery that there's always more to know right and that's why I found along my journey is just like there's always more to know about myself and you know and add more balance in my life and that's what it's all about and you will soon realize like hey you know these numbers do make a lot of sense you know what I'm saying so you can pretty much align yourself to the frequencies of the month week (laughs) you know the year and you know and that your intent alone right that will help you, you know, that will show the universe, you know, nature and, you know, the cosmos that you really, you know, are in the process of growing. You want to grow. You want to know who you are, more about who you are, right? Remembering. And that's what it's all about. All right. But again, without further ado, we're going to continue with our day and life path series all about number 16. So as the number 16 is, you know, in your life is all about you today. And my My main goal, my main intent is to keep things as simple as possible, right? And there's no cookie cookie cutter approach to these numbers. Just trust your own intuition. And my goal is to really, you know, keep things as simple as possible and show you how things, you know, are interconnected with each other. You know, there's no right or wrong way, but, you know, as long as you take some kind of action, right? <laughs> all right, but everything kind of like overlap with each other. All right, so with the number 16 going from left to right, you know, the the number one is all about that leader. Number six is, you know, being responsible, right? The server. And then with that one plus six equals seven, you know, it's all about being that source, of, you know, of knowledge, that expert, the thinker, the analyzer. And that's why I have this, you know, listed up top here the source of knowledge, the server. And going, you know, with the tarot card, the number 16 here, you know, you have the tower. All right. And basically, and I want to just touch this on a surface level because, you know, you can go on and on and on. But just on the surface level, when you see this, you know, you know, this symbolizes like, hey, no, no matter how high you go in life, right, you you always have to answer to a higher power. Right. There's a higher source, a higher power that's you know, orchestrating, make sure everything goes, you know, in divine plan, right? And at the end of the day, you know, when you don't set any solid plans, a solid, solid foundation, and when you build things on lives, you know, you have to, you know, everything is going to abide to these princi- universal principle and universal order, you know, so when your intent is not there, you know, there there's a, you know, cause and effect law law correspondence that plays out and you know you you reap what you sow right (laughs) all right but that leads to the chariot but these individuals at the end of the day it's not a bad thing but at the end of the day just be mindful because you can have your crown right but be mindful of the things that be grateful of the stuff that you you took to get there or if you you know you you know you were blessed or fortunate enough to be in a, a situation where you you know you you was, you know, raised into a crown position, but you really don't know what it takes, you know, humble yourself, learn more about yourself, learn more about what it takes to really help people. Uh, and that's what it's all about. But leading to this chariot card, these people are very in, tapped into the cosmos. This is what this star represents. They are getting, you know, their orders from the source. And, you know, it's all about tapping into that inner oracle. They are very balanced. They, they, you know, conquered that lower nature of the masculine and, and the feminine principle and, and let that Kundalini, you know, Kundalini energy, you know, rise up so it can grow its wings, so it can really be in tune with, with everything around them, all right, because these people are very analytical, right, very smart, and the way it ties in, again, with the Zodiac wheel, what I have here, remember, each, each number is its own entity, you got to respect these numbers, okay, but you know with the number one it's all about leadership you know fresh starts remember you know your thoughts create your reality right and it's all about you know self-image self-expression you know and then that number six it's all about you know great 
being grateful, gratitude, the love of home, family, material items. Uh, it's all about community service, empowerment, employment, and, you know, health, nutrition, beauty. You know, these people, you know, with that number six is a number of beauty as well. But and then which lead, like I mentioned to you before, we're working it down. One plus six equals seven. When it leads to the seven, it's all about, again, tapping into your intuition, staying balanced, trusting that inner voice. And also on a surface level, on the plane, you know, in, in your environment, it's all about, you know, relationships, marriage, working out the finer detail, making, you know, alliances. If you have any kind of conflict, this is a great period to, you know, with uh, legal matters, you know, you, you that expert again, you know, with that number, all right, you're able to analyze, use critical thinking to really think things through before you execute, right? All right, but with this number 16 here, let's talk a little bit more about this, all right? With the number 16, you know, these individuals are very outspoken, strong will, analytical. They do a lot of research, like I mentioned, and they love the study. Okay. And again, with the number 16 is a karmic number and the people under this influence need to really keep their feet on the path of higher learning. Okay. They must cultivate their personal willpower, independence, initiative, action to enable them to overcome any obstacle that come into their life experiences. All right. So I repeat, you know, with this vibration, really need to cultivate your personal willpower, independence, an initiative and taking action because sometimes we can get a little stagnant because we question ourselves we second guess you know ourselves and we fear you know what we don't know right and you know because we have those expectations you know release expectations take action you know if it if it fails it fails you know if you make a little mistake you know but you know think it out use that critical thinking think you know things through before you execute refine and repeat the process you hear me mention that many 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 times okay but with the number 16 the notes that many will experience you know quite a few trials and defeats throughout your life and then you know there will be some unforeseen events that may seem to follow people with this number as well and possible manifestation of this energy you know include illicit love affairs and or money losses so again with this tarot card here don't let material you know wealth or you know people get the best of you because what goes up must come down especially when you haven't you know laid the proper foundations okay because you answer to a higher a higher power you know you have this v right and there's the double v because you lighten your ass up <laughs> so just be mindful you know again it's all about gratitude you know, take those, you know, earlier mistakes, use them as fuel, share, share, share with people those experience so they can learn with you and be grateful for those heartfelt lessons. All right. But again, you know, be mindful with this vibration, you know, uh, with the love affairs and, you know, and or money losses. OK, so learn about money, um, learn about love, you know, what love is like, how can, you know, I give more. You know, that would be a great question. How can I love more? And and what you will realize when you learn about love, what I realized in my experience is the more you study this topic, you realize like, hey, how can I, you know, really attract the love that I want in my life? And what, what I realized was I have to give the amount of love that I wanted to receive. You know, and I test it out with love. It can be material items. Okay, it can be uh, with friendships. Okay, it can be business advice. You know, when you give people sound advice, the universe has a way, you know, everything has to reciprocate, okay, good or bad. So when you pass positive energy to people, you have no choice but to get something back, man. All right, correspondence, <laughs> correspondence. All right, but with this 16, you know, it's a single number with the number seven, one plus six equals seven with this energy of obligation and responsibility to listen to your inner voice, which will always warn you of any kind of danger through your dreams and strong intuition. Okay, guys. Now, when this number is transmuted to the higher vibration, it expresses itself as love of humanity and a desire to uplift others in the cause of harmony. Okay, with that number six, again, it's all about love, harmony, community service, bringing people together, lifting them up, not tearing them down, 
and actually, you know, being a positive role model in people's lives, okay? But these individuals are very strong will and with fine analytical mind, 16 need to really know, you know, everything about everything. You know, they ask a lot of questions, study research, you know, and anything new age interest, you know, the, this 16 mind, they will have many psychic experiences during their lifetime as well. So if you have these many visions, it's normal, okay? We all have them, to be honest, but with this vibration, they're a little bit stronger for you. So with practice, right, just like riding a bicycle with practice over time, you will actually learn to develop your new skill or your talent that, that deep within you. So practice every day. You know, what do these visions mean? How can I turn the, this vision process on, you know, at my wheel versus just letting little snapshots come? All right. It's all about learning more about you. The number 16 person is often outspoken in their, you know, strong belief, you know, given the energy and stamina to keep going for many hours in a day, yet still find quality time for their family. These people have the capacity to love deeply and passionately, yet relationships are not easily established. Now, 16s are very conscious of their responsibility within the home and make their, you know, very loving partners and, and parents as well. However, their need to take command in all situations often makes it difficult for themselves. So you don't have to control everything. When you plant the right seeds in the minds of your family and in yourself first, because you're not a dictator, you know, everybody have to play out their own lives. However, you know, but, you know, you have to set the right example if you really want your family and your environment to, to you know, mirror, you know, your, your new mindset, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. But as we close now, 16 energy may, may have many challenges to overcome during their life. And then their need to, for any kind of solitude can have trouble fitting in at times as well. Often from the, you know, your early twenties, 16 people reach their special purpose. That's when it'll really start to come in again. Like I mentioned with these vision, your psychic visions. Okay. But 16 have a natural healing ability and are expert on human nature. And because of this, they make great writers, actors, comedians. Often those, you know, born on the 16th are interested in, you know, any kind of religion or spirit, you know, higher spiritual aspects of life because they love philosophy, the love of life, right? You know, biochemistry, things of that nature. They really trying to expand their minds in all aspects because there's always more to know. Because once you think you know everything, you stop growing. Okay. Now the 16 energy energy individual can crucify themselves on the path to love. And that, you know, and that can come into spiritual consciousness if they turn their love towards the path of light. Now the challenge of the 16 must be carefully met so that it that its effects may be diluted you know, to a milder, milder vibration. So in other words, guys, you know, when you're, when you're chasing love, you know, remember that, hey, you're here for a purpose and a mission. Don't let, you know, your, your chase for love um, take you out of alignment with what you came here to do, if that makes sense. Because sometimes, you know, just to, to please people, you, you, you may mirror your environment, you may take on some of these negative characteristics, and you're not really uh, representing your authentic self, if that makes sense, because I really want to deliver this message so it can really resonate with you out there, okay, but as we close, you know, a number 16 person, person is very outspoken, their strong belief gives them the energy to keep going for many hours in a day, like I mentioned before, yet still, you know, they're going to find a time for a home and family, they have the capacity to love very deeply and passionately and these people just love the responsibility within the home and they you know they really want they all about taking care of their their children and their partner um and at the end of the day guys you know with this vibration trust your inner voice okay all right things going to happen in your life however remember with the, this one law of correspondence, okay, study all the seven hermetic principles daily, use them daily, share your knowledge and wisdom all the time, okay, when you pass in great energy, you have to get something back, but just remember, cause and effect, number 16, it will take you very far, and you'll be able to transmute some of those negative vibe, you know, energies, even, you know, you, you get caught up in a negative situation, there are ways to trans transmute those energies, 
when you learn, you know, cause and effect and knowing that, hey, you know, once you realize like, hey, you know that that was wrong, I can do things better, it, it frees you, it releases you. And then that way you can go to the next level. It's just that simple, okay? But utilize those seven hermetic principles daily. Share your knowledge and wisdom with people, okay? And remember, don't believe anything I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys. You know, do your own research. Use, I'm a, I mean, I will include some additional references down below, all right? And just, you know, this will help you enlighten yourself. A great teacher or a mentor will always lead you to a source, you know, or a reference so you can, you know, get your own point of view so you can see things for yourself and, you know, and have your own perspective. But at the end of the day, you know, your experience are nothing more than life lessons to test you and for you to pass. And this will enable you to progress positively along your path. Again, you know, your experience are, you know, are life lessons to test you and for you to pass. And this will enable you to progress positively along your path. Again, guys, your experience, you know, in life that you're going through right now, and just listen to my presentation. This is just part, you know, one of the lessons, you know, to test you. You know, I'm just here to remind you how great you are, you know, because you're a reflection of me. I'm a reflection on you. I'm just here to remind you, all right? And when you really reflect on the things that you went through in your life, you know, good, bad, this will enable you to pass. And once you know better, you do better, right? And this will enable you to really progress positively along your path. At the end of the day, everyone, just have fun. You know, always, always, always trust your intuition because your thoughts, your belief, your words, your energy, and your action will always equal your results. It's time to take responsibility for yourself. Nobody's going to save you but you. So you've been doing everything yourself. All right. Now that you know that, hey, there's a cause and effect, I'm able to co-create this wonderful life that I've been envisioning for myself, that's when the magic happens, all right? Take responsibility, all right? But at this present time, always keep your money in check. I'm going to include some additional ref, uh, references down below. Coinbase is a good tool. You know, learn about dividend, dollar cost averaging, you know, monthly, weekly, right? Those kind of deals that'll really speed it up. But guys, this is Chris with Food for Your Thought. We will continue with the number 17 in our next presentation. I hope you find this uh, information very useful and handy. And I really appreciate you, you know, so much, so much. But be sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. Until next time, this is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. Stay grateful and focused, fam. Peace.